What's up guys, we're gonna build beat and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some super serious trap beats. So let's hop right into it. I'm just go ahead and grab us a little scale in here. So we're gonna go to minor. You can use any scale. Um, I don't know, let's do a C sharp minor. I'll go ahead and name that. Sharp minor. Okay, BPM, you could go, I think 150 to 160 is pretty good. It doesn't really matter, okay? Uh, so we're gonna start with this first sound, uh, bonkers, okay? Um, all the sounds that I'm using will be linked in the description or comment section down below. Um, so let's go in here and I'm gonna make this extremely easy for everybody at home. So uh, we're just gonna use a fifth, right? So a fifth is pretty much just um, the, the top, the lower and the top note of a chord. So if we take, pull this out. So if we take a chord like this, you just take out the middle note then you just have your fifth. So it's six spaces in between or you go up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, multiple ways to get there. And then we're just gonna create a little pattern and that's it, we're done. That's the beat. And then maybe we could like switch it up like this. And then we're gonna take this E cause this is original, a part of the original chord, right? And just pull it up and use this as like a top melody over here. Copy this. And this is just super easy stuff, right? Like it's not, and maybe let's go down like this. Let's listen. Right, very spooky vibes, very simple melody. This is probably like the easiest melody I've ever done on this channel. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, uh, that's it. We can go ahead and move on to our second uh, instrument or whatever. Next up, we have a counter, which is our wisdom key here. Okay, um, now I kind of like this. I think this is steady enough. And what we could do is make this a 808 heavy beat. Um, so I think I'm gonna just be lazy and I'm gonna copy this. And if I feel like I wanna make changes, I'll make them right here. Like if I wanna you know, add some notes. All right, I don't want it too melodic. I like it very like dry. And I guess we can throw this in real quick. Cause I think that's enough. I think we could just add something here simply and move on. So I'm gonna just listen, put the metronome on. Okay, I kind of like that. And typically what I like to do is usually I will hold back a little bit or at least by half. And what I mean by that is like for a melody like this, I would usually like cut it in, oops, cut it in half because I don't want this to be too annoying. Maybe we could add it. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave it like this, okay? I think that's good. It comes in every now and then. Um, it's not annoying, but it's still something to keep the melody going. So I think that's good for the melody. Now what we can do is add effects and see what we can do to make this a little bit more interesting. Now we're just gonna go over the effects that I added. Uh, so for the master is just our simple, same master we've been using. Okay, and then if you wanna make your beat loud, you just turn this up um, and then you just have your little soft clipper on top. Okay, and then for the first sound, I added halftime, one bar, and then just a, a vintage verb on top, and then a hard EQ right here. So that's what the EQ looks like. I'll play it alone, off and on. Right, very spooky, you know, dark vibes. And then our second sound, I'll play it off. And then this is just a little custom preset. 
on melody reduction i don't even know where this is at which one this is in right here melody reduction and mako um you can see it gives it a really like creepy sound to it um and then on this one for our like whatever this is this little sound here uh, we have whoop, the same preset okay melody reduction um, and then I just put a super massive on it just to give it a little bit of delay and reverb I'm um, just to separate it a bit and that's pretty much it all right so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the 808 all right, so let's go ahead and hop into the 808. So this can be real simple. Um, for stuff like this, usually you could just go like a simple pattern. Make sure that velocity is up. Um, but typically when, when the melody is this simple, I do like to try to add like a melody to the 808. So I don't know, like something like, like something like that, right? But obviously we want to fix it. Core backwards, pull that up. Okay, I like that. Right, just adjust it. And then pull that over. And maybe make like some crazy adjustments. And then the reason I'm putting this C sharp here is because it's just an octave up from the C sharp six to the seven. Um, and then, yeah, we can add a kick. And if your 808 isn't as punchy, what I like to do with my 808s, I made a video about this a very long time ago, is I like to pull my channel volume knob to 92%. Not 91, not 93, 92. Okay, and then on our mixer, soft clipper, um, I like that around 12, the threshold around 12. Okay, so that is kind of my combo. And then with the kick, we're gonna Alt-K, accept. And then I like to double it up just so it has a little bit of punch. And then we're gonna just pull these down. Right, that's simple. So now we're just gonna go ahead and add our drums and then we'll make adjustments and stuff because of course you still need to mix it, but let's go ahead and throw our drums in. Now, lastly, we're gonna add our drums. Now I like to play everything at once at the end. So I usually like to solo some things. So I'm just gonna play these by themselves. And then for this, we could literally just bar this and then just turn this up. Just so I can punch through the mix. And then for this one, we're just going to, of course, we can just do this manually. And add like our little chops in there. I'm gonna try to zoom in. I'll go to one fourth. Oops, yeah, one fourth. Make it do a little chop right here. Just something simple, right? Doesn't need to be crazy. I think we got the point across. Okay. Um, uh, let's turn this. Okay, and I think that's good. We're gonna bar this and probably have to put this at 64 so it loops. There we go. All right, so here's the beat. Of course, we could mix it, but I think it'll be fine. Right, 
and that's pretty much it and of course with something this simple i would probably add other instruments when i like lay it out um and of course definitely throw some crazy stuff in with the 808 and play around with that since it's a simple beat but that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace